I'm Alice Carter, and this is uh, Intermediate Illustration, and these students are um, learning to paint. And um, here they are. They're all, um, they're doing two forests. They're doing uh, a scary forest, and for the, the basis of it is uh, Macbeth, and they're doing a magical forest, and the basis of that is A Midsummer Night's Dream. So, um, let me show you some examples. Well, here's one. Here's a scary forest right here. Can I show this? This is Vincent's. This is his scary forest. And um, then, there it is. He's starting to paint it. And he's also on Photoshop. He's, he's also done a little comprehensive drawings. And this is his magical forest. Do you want to put these down, Vincent? Mm -hmm. Little magical forest. You can please set them out and show them. And he's just working on the color on the magical forest. So, um, watch the chords. Mm -hmm. This is a, this is a, even though it's, even though it's traditional paint, it's, um, it's, uh, pretty electronic too. You can see that. This is Michelle. And she's working on her magical forest. And that's her scary one right there. Um, well, I think we have a scary and a magical going side by side here. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Jeannie is uh, doing the magical for us. Do you want to show it? Just flip it up, Jeannie. And Jennifer is doing the scary one. So that's Macbeth. And that's Midsummer Night's Dream. So, would you like one of them to talk about um, how how they're doing? Um, I think maybe Jay would like to talk about his magical forest and how he's doing. Hey, um, <laughs> well, I uh, I first walked in the magical forest with uh, a single value, and now I'm uh, rendering it more, keeping the values in mind, as uh, Professor Carter suggested I do. Um, I also have uh, my scary forest right here. So this is what the blocking in phase looks like. I didn't really go into the rendering phase, but then... So this one looked like this before. So now I'm just, you know, going to the next step. <laughs> Alright, would you like to hear someone else talk mm -hmm. about? Alright, let me... Okay, so Alvin wants to talk about his forest. All right, Alvin would like to talk about it. Alvin, go and Hi. talk about it. Uh, hello, everyone out there on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> hello, YouTubers. Uh, first, um, I got this great assignment from Bunny in this class, and um, I'm thankful for that. And when I, when I first dream of these forests, I look inside my heart, because in my heart is, is where the final image lies. Um, but really, after many pages and pages of thumbnail sketches, um, you got to get all your bad ideas out. And after after I'm, I've settled and happy with a sketch that I like, um, these, I render it and I come out with something like this. And so these are black and white images. And then I do more uh, color comps. And that's to get rid of all the bad colors that I don't want to use. And I finally start painting, and you s and I have what you see here. So sometimes we sing in this class, cheer us up. Carlos usually leads us in song. Want to lead us yeah. in song a little bit? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> uh, let's see. One song that I like to sing is uh, it's a little ditty that goes sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> We're together, brighter than a lucky penny. <laughs> and when that doesn't work, um, uh, Chris does alien noise. You check to your alien noise. He can come and whistle. <laughs> but even though we all work hard and have a good time, right? Does anyone else want to add something? Let's um, let's have another uh, woman weigh in on this. Hillary. Hillary would probably love to talk about her picture. 
like everybody else did with a bunch of uh, thumbnail drawing studies and then took it to the rendering stage after I found a thumbnail that I liked. And then I locked in the color and now I'm working on my magical painting. It's a rainforest scene and I based it off of the uh, Caribbean rainforest, which I actually visited um, last summer and I was able to get all my reference photos from it. Okay. Yeah. Well, we could talk a second to Ann Lynn. She is the Nobel Scholarship winner. Maurice Nobel, it was an animator. You want to talk a little bit about him? About Maurice? Yeah. Oh, um, I saw some of his uh, things. The animated, or um, um, some of the, what's it called? The, the dot animated. and the line yes, was the a famous film. Yes, the dot and the line. Those were really great. And then, um, what was it, the coyote scene? Mm -hmm. And then uh, the works. scenes from Dumbo. Oh, I love his work. I love his animation. It's, it's so, um, Ann Lynn got a scholarship. She competed with uh, students at uh, Art Center and uh, um, uh, Cal Arts, and won the Maurice Noble Scholarship, and that pays her tuition this year, right? Right. And it will go on for her whole education if she if next two years if she keeps doing some good work, right? Right. Okay. There you go.